how can you still be this big? Huge, I really am worried about the there's always some signs that we look at these mamas that, hey, they're about to have a calf. We also have a surprise for you guys. You're really controlling it. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Marissa and I are gonna check bison a little bit different way today. We're not using that today. We're using something else. Hope you guys are ready for another bison video. I wanna thank DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Marissa and I have been worried about a specific cow. So this specific cow is in the Big Joe herd. If you guys don't know who Crazy Eyes is, it's our 32 cow. We got her from Texas a couple of years ago and she's one of my favorite looking cows. She's huge and I like her frame and everything. I like her demeanor. She's got a little bit of attitude, a little sass to her, but she has not had a calf this year. She was the second one to ever have a calf at the Ponderosa last July. She had a late calf. She must have come in heat late, which would have been last year, in 2022. Well, she's about to pop. And she's looked like she's about to pop for months. And, and there's, there's always some signs that I, that I talk about whenever we, we, uh, we look at these mamas that, hey, they're about to have a calf. One of the things that we look at is the bag, the udder. Bison udders are hard to see. They don't sag really. So one How's the udder look? How full is it? Two, we obviously look at lady parts. Now, I don't go into explaining exactly what those lady parts are called. I try to be careful on here because I know kids watch this and I appreciate uh, the little kids trying to learn about bison ranching. I love that. On a bison, start to show signs that they're about to have a calf and those parts start to swell. Um, and then obviously the belly is kind of the third thing you can look at and you're like, oh, well, she's about to pop, right? You can see that belly really start to drop low. Uh, you'll see a, a part in their hips uh, that definitely separate from the weight of the belly dropping and getting ready for the calf to go through the birthing cavity, getting those hips ready for that. And so you put all those three things together, you're like, okay, she should be having a calf any day. Like today, we've seen those signs. And I look at Marissa, I'm like, she's having a calf today. Wrong. And that's what's happened several times i'm like she's gonna have a calf and so every day we've been going out and checking her because if you know this past summer we had a heck of a summer we'd raised bison for five years and never lost a calf and then this summer 2023 had a drought all that stuff we've lost three calves one stillborn two was dead inside of its mama which is our texas cow and then the third was born um, late one morning in the heat, first time mama and the calf we that was the calf we tried to rescue, bring to the barn. That drama, unfortunately, we didn't catch that calf in time from the summer heat and not getting its colostrum and fast enough. That calf didn't make it. In our minds, we're thinking, hey, okay, we're a 32 cow. What's going on here? So if we can catch those calves early if mama has some trouble or something like that last year she didn't have any trouble at all but if we can catch and see when the calf is born and if it's in need we're there to do it now bison typically don't have to have any help let's get that straight bison can have calves all day long typically without any help now in this summer 
there was nothing we could do on some of those situations. What uh, we're gonna do is, I'm really worried about this mom. We're gonna run down there and check her because I think she's getting very, very close. Any day now, how can you still be this big and not have a calf? And then we also have a surprise for you guys. We're gonna introduce to you for the first time at the Ponderosa, we got something fun happening. Uh, I think it's gonna be perfect for the ranch. <laughs> All right, guys, so something you may not know about me is I'm a big sports guy. And a great way to keep up with everything and what's going on in the sports world is through this awesome app. I've teamed up with DraftKings. I can check out my favorite players and teams and play some games while I'm doing it. And so through DraftKings, I'm able to go in, select some of my favorite drivers on who I think is going to perform the best. It's a challenge. It's fun. I can compete against my friends and family. It's a fun way to play some fantasy sports through the DraftKings app. New customers out there, if you haven't joined DraftKings, now is a great time to join. With the first deposit of $5, new customers can play for their share of millions in top prizes. Yes, guys, you heard that right. New customers with just $5 in, you can get your chance to win millions in prizes. To play, just draft your roster and those players earn points based on their in-game performance. Whether it's NASCAR, NFL, baseball, or basketball, you can pick some of your favorite players. Okay guys, hey, you can do it right now. It's free to download new customers. Use my code BISON, B-I-S-O-N. Use my code BISON, like these guys right back here behind me, only at DraftKings. <laughs> Bison? Yeah, why not? Alright. reveal of the scout we also got brooks brooks came along with us we were about to pull down the pasture and then we were like oh crud it's time to go get brooks so we went back and got brooks for the moment to reveal the new bison rig is a 78 international scout we were able to get from some close friends and um we told him we'd do a reveal at some point we've had it for a couple months and hidden it from you but it is here in the bison pasture. Big Joe Herd right here. Needs some love, right? Got a little rust on it. It runs, which is number one thing, right? It runs. Some good friends of ours had it. A uh, guy named Leslie jacked it up, got it ready, got really busy, and uh, didn't have time to work on it and do everything that he wanted to do. Brooks. What do you think? Can you explain anything about it? Um, <laughs> need some love. 
take, I just really want to take the top off is all I really yeah, want. Yeah, so we need to take the top off. Apparently there's just like two or three bolts. There's two right up in here, right here, next to the your bow fold. Oh, he, these? Yep, there's two there. And it just pops and out? And then there's one there and one right inside here. Yep, but it needs a little bit of love. We are, I think we're gonna try to do some things to it. It had a bath and then we took it out and we got a little mud on it. It got a little dirty. Still has the original rack right here. Excited to have it, lucky to have it. It's a cool rig. Missing a mirror there, that's okay. But um, we can uh, do little things here and there on it. You know, it's all right. It's, uh, it's a ranch rig, right? It's a ranch rig. All right, here we go. Look at all these babies. They're all looking good. This herd is healthy. Got big Joe over there. But the real reason we came down here, besides showing you guys and revealing the ranch rig here with Marissa and Brooks, is the 32 cap. And you can kind of look across there and I'll zoom in for you, but you're like, had her calf. She has a calf. She looks normal. Huge. She's huge right now. I'm ready to pop any moment and uh we're out here in the afternoon after we just uh, picked up our girl she looked like she could have twins she's that big but it is very rare to have twins very rare we don't count on her having twins doubt that's gonna happen but she looks like she's got a set of twins in there Yeah, you couldn't even hardly tell they were pregnant, but when she gets pregnant... She is just huge. I really am worried about her, Dusty. Like, I mean, I don't know what... You need to go back and look at your notes from last year, but I feel like she's really late. Well, she's very late. Well, I know she's late, like, but, I mean, her udders have dropped even more in the last two days. I don't know. I mean, I know it's the time of it. Three o'clock after the summer we've had like i talked about earlier it is kind of stressful you know she's pregnant right she's huge all the signs are there it's what's going on why hasn't she had the calf yet that's the concern so um, maybe i need to do call doc and see what he says i don't know we've been coming out here at least once in the morning once in the afternoon slash evening to check her to see how she's doing just in case if she does have a calf if there's any problems and you hope that you can be here if something does happen. Not that we could probably make it better. There'd be a slim chance of us making sort of these things better. But stuff happens like we did this summer. There's some things that are out of your control. And so uh, we don't know. We like the 32 cow. I think she's got a lot of character. She's interesting. The, I love Dance with the Wolves, which is where Dunbar got his name from. But um, her, I thought a great name for her would be Stance with the Fist which is also um, the other major role in uh, Dances with Wolves. That would have been Lieutenant Dunbar's eventually wife in the movie, right? Her name is Stands with a Fist. And uh, I think she kind of has that, I'm going to kick your butt kind of attitude and uh, don't get in her way. Um, she's never come after us, but she's got that look in her eye. Not that we, crazy yeah, crazy eyes, what Marissa calls her. She definitely has that look, and so we don't want to get in her path. Uh, she never harmed us. But uh, definitely stands with a fist is a great name for her. So we're going to have to keep an eye on her. And as soon as she has a calf, we will let you know. Because something else I need to mention is we shouldn't be having calves this time of the year. <laughs> let me be clear. We should have had calves in May and June. This is typically how it goes here, right? Um, and in the north, they sometimes start having them a little earlier, like in April. Uh, I've got friends that have them all in April and not any in May, maybe a little bit, but ours typically start in May and June. Uh, her having a calf in October is a bit off. You're like, well, what in the world is going on? Well, there's some things you can't control. We keep our bulls with our herds and our females year round. So, you know, just like in nature, they do the same thing. So you may have a couple of little strays every now and then, a couple awkward ones, but uh, I would rather them have them in October than in the middle of July and August when it's super hot, which is, I think, one of the reasons that took down our last calf that passed away uh, was the heat and um, not getting mama's nutrients fast enough. So, anyways, with that being said, meet the ranch rig 
don't have a name for. I guess it could be just ranch rig, Marissa says. We're going to eventually get the top off of it. We'll get the top off of it, and we'll bring you back out with this. But the Scout is on the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch here in Soul for America. I want to thank DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. You guys can support us by going to the link in the description right here. And it's fun. You can play against your buddies and create some competitions, some bragging rights, and all that right here. You guys can click the link in the description. Use the code BISON. <laughs> She's a beast. A little uh, wild. wild. Yep, you got her. Uh huh. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.